Navy Day in New York. Blue Jackets take the spotlight as all America acclaims the Navy as the first line of attack. In the crowd is more than one boy whose dad's a sailor. Men in khaki pay tribute to men in blue. And in the ranks are colored troops. From coast to coast, all America honors the Allied fleets. Smart stepping units of Britain's Royal Navy have a prominent place in the parade. The battlefronts of the Navy are the Seven Seas, their theater of operations, the Globe. Navy men earn a salute from every man, woman, and child. Remember how American soldiers in Britain assisted our farmers to bring in this year's harvest? Well, the helping hand works both ways. British towers on leave in Virginia volunteer to help make hay while the sun shines. Shortage of labor brings the British Navy to the rescue. Sweet corn ripened in the sunny south and reaped by men with a few days shore leave. They accept no pay, but they were brought up in the bottle and it's going to stay that way. Inferno riding on the crest of a high wind sweeps through the Santa Monica mountain section of Los Angeles. Walls of smoke and flame bar the roads to firefighting equipment. Like most bushfires, it started in a small way and spread to 25,000 acres. A trio of refugees, Rusty the Cat, escaped by his singed whiskers. Eight lives gone and one to play with. The flames roar on through the night, consuming valuable timber and many homes. A bridge over Colorado is earmarked for salvage. Army engineers take over the job of blowing 200 tons of steel into the war. With the charges in place, Charlie takes the shortcut back, and Elmer plays his trump card for a grand slam. A blaster thing. 